today cabinet has taken the decision to enhance the MSP price of wheat so that the farmers will continue. And what Honorable Agriculture Minister said today that our production targets are very good. So that part we are looking at. Second part is the storage. In storage there are two parts. One the procurement by the central agency FCI which guarantees minimum support price to the farmers. The second we have taken a policy decision we will guarantee the minimum support price and whatever food grains come during that particular season will be taken by the FCI and stopped. I think the states will take initiative from the Nadega scheme so that when the food security bill is implemented and we have been stressing the point that food security bill can be successfully implemented by the only if one strengthen and modernize the PDS system. These loopholes has to be plugged. This matter also was discussed today in the cabinet. Second, we should now, now what happens? Many states straight away from the FCI go down, they take to the PDS shops. And there is leakages. And some states where for the special quality of rice they need, we have made particular arrangements so that that particular state gets that particular type of food grains. For example, Kerala. Kerala needs matta and jaya. That is from Andhra. So we have put offices there so that matta and jaya goes to Kerala. But unfortunately, it does not reach the people because of the leakages. So we have to plug that. So important step is from the FCA go down, it should go to the intermediate storages. From there it should be distributed to the PDS shops. There should be end-to-end -end computerization. So this action taken by the Aramlimates Ministry, we think very helpful so that we will have enough intermediate storages <coughs> and they can implement the food security bill successfully. One, by having the intermediate go down. Second, by strengthening the PDS system.